So I'm working with Lauren Wolf, who's our project lead the way teacher at the junior high. And she is really working hard to help bring some of those behind the scenes computer coding processes that are complex to the forefront and make them a more social activity, hands on, some movement, some discussion, just so that kids can really see like if I'm coding, what happens between clicking my mouse and the signal going to the computer. And so what she and I were working on today is one of probably six lessons we'll work on this quarter. And so students were working specifically on like a how-to process because there's a lot of flow charts involved with computer coding. And so she was having them uh, work with a partner. They picked their own topic and they worked on creating this linear uh, step-by-step process to break down a complex task and just on paper with pen and marker figuring out how do you clearly communicate the process for something like um, I think one group picked like how to do a shoulder sit because they were cheerleaders. Okay, so with instructional coaching, there's a lot of different ways that we can support teachers in accomplishing their goals. And so that might look like modeling a new instructional strategy that they've never tried before. It might look like co-teaching with them. It might look like creating a resource and then working with the teacher to see how that resource is implemented and how students respond to it. But it's really all about how can we support student learning and look to see if what we're doing with them is effective. And so uh, Mrs. Wolf specifically wanted me to come in and collect data, which is a, I think, underutilized role of an instructional coach. She already had the ideas of what she wanted to try and uh, what she thought might be the result of that, but she wanted to bring in another set of eyes um, and even bring in a video camera so that in addition to my perspective on some things that I was tracking, she she would have some videotape to reflect on it herself. So whenever teachers are comfortable with it, we do encourage using video as a reflection tool because it helps us to capture a more accurate picture of the reality of what's happening in our classroom. Like what does it actually look like when we do what we do? And I think it's hard to have that perspective when we're at the front of the room, we're circulating around with groups of students, we don't have the full picture. And video allows us to gain that perspective. It really is a tool for all professionals and practitioners, which is why doctors use it and athletes watch themselves on video because it reveals things things that they wouldn't ordinarily see. And so I was there uh, in the classroom interacting with the kids, asking them questions like, do you know what you're doing and why you're doing it and how it connects to computer programming? And just trying to get clarity from them about whether or not they understood the purpose of the activity for the day. I was also looking for some things like the amount of student talk time versus the amount of teacher talk time for engagement, um, on-task behavior versus off-task behavior just to see was the activity engaging enough to help them focus on that for an entire 30 minutes I think is what the activity lasted. And so when an instructional coach comes into the room to collect data, it's sort of a process of, you know, Mrs. Wolf and I met beforehand and we decided what data would be the most helpful. So as a reflection meeting after the lesson, we use that data as a, a grounding point for our conversation about whether or not it was an effective way to help students learn how to break down a complex task into a step-by-step -step process. So one of the things I love about instructional coaching is obviously the opportunity to work with all the amazing teachers here at the junior high. It's a great variety and it's a um, challenge for me for sure to make sure that I'm differentiating my coaching to meet the needs of each teacher who allows me to work with them. And um, I also love the team of instructional coaches that I get to work with. And really we do a lot of things from providing professional development on early release days to offering a lot of professional development hours um, that teachers can obtain from our district after school. And then I do a lot with just coaching cycles in the junior high building. So I, I just think that instructional coaching is new enough that a lot of people don't really understand how to work with a coach. And I think the biggest thing to understand is it truly is like a personalized opportunity to grow in the ways that are meaningful for you. Um, and, and it really is a, a space where 
You can just focus on solving a problem or having some time to grow in an area that's been on your list for a while, but it's, it's a way of taking some of the burden of that off of you because you're sharing that responsibility with another teacher.